were inspired by this interior design uh, template that we found. So we're going to add another page and add this on here. So the idea was to use this nice, beautiful design that was used for interior design, lifestyle, logo, and replace these icons with our own icons just to showcase the different kinds of products that Jo serves. So she does shoes, she does clothing for female and male, and it's African wear. She does hats, earrings, bags. She does stunning looking um, couture that she, she um, shares, and it's an African couture. So what you would basically do is you would replace all of these logos or all of these pictures that are on here and then replace the name. So how I did that, I just went to elements and I went and I looked for a shape and then I covered the shape for all of these um, pictures that were there. So sometimes you've got to be clever with these things. So that's what I did. I just covered all of these shapes and then replaced the pictures with the pictures um, inspired by Joe's Couture's products that she does. And then I changed the name and once it was done, you just again go download and then you jump into Photo P. Once you've opened Photo P, then you can use the PSD template that I've loaded there or any template that you want to use. You just click where it says 3D class window logo mockup and you select this photop.com link once the mockup is loaded you're going to double click where it says your logo you're going to hide your text and you're going to go find the logo that you've just downloaded as a transparent background and then you'd size it align it size it the way that you want then you're going to go file save as smart object and you click once where it says 3d plus window logo and your logo is um, converted to 3d so if you want you can click on the backlight just to have a nice backlight on your logo but this is what i want to show you you go on file to export as pdf because sometimes printers or people that are designing your clients shop they want a PDF format. So these are the formats that are available. The PDF is available there. There's even more different kinds of formats that are available. So if they want PDF, you select PDF. And once your PDF window is open, that says save for web. If you do not rasterize and vectorize the text, it comes out blank. So I wanna show you how it looks like. It will tell you, fail to load PDF document reload. That means you have not rasterized and vectorized. So you need to go file, export as and go PDF. And then click on rasterize all. And then click on vectorize the text. Once you do that, you click on save. And then it would save the PDF format and the PDF format looks like that. And it's saved as a PDF. Then you can send it to your customer so that they can send it to whoever needs it in a PDF format. Thanks for joining me. You could watch the next video that we did on how to design using different shapes on logos. I'll see you next time.